Hey there, folks. Um, I wanted to use take an opportunity for something that I goofed up uh, to to show off to y'all a little thing that I've had to do more than a few times in my life, and it's always been a question for other people. Uh, it's it's cleaning a keyboard. Um, this is a Logitech Wave keyboard. Um, it's kind of gunky. Uh, I've had it for quite some time. This is a great keyboard. I think it's an M107 model. Uh, nope, not even close. It is the K350. It was part of a set that I bought, uh, Wave, Logitech Wave wireless keyboard and uh, uh, mouse that has been just a great pairing. I'm worried that the mouse might be having problems, but uh, last week I I spilled a, uh, let me make sure that I'm getting, yeah, okay. Last week I spilled uh, a whole soda on this while I was playing video games. Um, and it just, it just doused the keyboard. And uh, so what to do in that sort of case, um, if you're watching this video, there's a chance that you may have already done this, in which case, well, uh, I'll show you how to clean it. For future reference, uh, something that you want to do, the second you spill something on these keyboards, flip it over and find the power switch. On this one, it's right over here. Um, and uh, flip it off or reach into the battery compartment and pop out the batteries immediately. You don't want the electronics of the keyboard to uh, get mucked up. So uh, yeah, just get it shut off as rapidly as possible. This morning I started cleaning this, uh, the tilde key, the uh, tab key and the caps lock key were all sticking. They You'd push them down and they'd just stay down. Uh, so as I, I cleaned those and I thought, wait wait a second, I should go ahead and, and do a video kind of showing people exactly what to do. So um, I do still have the F1 key. That, you know, F2 is up and down, up and down, F1. You hit it and it just kind of stays down there. Uh, a lot of the other keys seem in pretty good shape. You can just kind of run your hands over your keyboard and see which ones are the problem. Right now, uh, some of these number keys up on top are bad, but they're are, are sticky, but they're not so bad. This F1 key is real bad, though. You can see it's it's staying in the down position there. So what I do um, is I get a jeweler's uh, sort of. Um, you know, a, a, a repair, let's see, oh, I'm not getting any of this in the picture. Uh, get this jeweler style repair uh, uh, screwdriver. This one, it's best to use a flat head. This one is a flat head. And you're just going to come in at, at the corner of a key. You should always start with keys that are on the outer edge. Don't just start right in the middle. That can get tricky to pop keys off start on the outside and work your way towards the middle and I just come in from the corner I'm not sure if you can see that very well and just pry Boop. and by the way not all keyboards are designed like this Logitech so uh, be, be careful um, there are older keyboards that were designed with springs inside of here and if you ever popped a key off the spring would come flying out and you'd be just screwed it was it was game over uh, but in this case, uh, these are, are simple uh, pressure actuated switches down there in the middle of this square hole where the key was. Uh, right now I can see along the sides here that there are there's gunk down there, there's some dried gunk. And if you look on the sides of these, uh, the keys themselves, the plunger, it gets sticky in there. I can rub my fingers on here and it comes off with a sticky tacky feel to it because, uh, you know, my, my Dr. Pepper gunked it up. So all I do is if you have isotropical alcohol, uh, just, you know, a, a, a rubbing alcohol, that's the best thing to use. I could not find any, uh, so I'm just using uh, some very clean, very hot water here. Um, take the hot water, I get a, a Q-tip, dip it in the hot water, get it in there pretty good, and then I just go around the inside of the key. Uh, get these walls of the plunger area done really well because that's where your stickiness takes place as it's sliding it up and down on that. You kind of clean around, clean around, clean around, clean off the top. 
And then this other part, the receiver end of it on the keyboard here is really important too. First, I get around the outer edge. Um, to be honest, that's not the most important edge, but it's what you can see. And uh, I can see in my case that it is kind of gunky down in there. So I get around that outer edge first. Yeah, that was real sticky. Uh, get the outer walls of the plunger area here. And there's usually on my keyboards that I've seen modern keyboards on these Logitech designs, they're hollow on the inside of the, the plunger area, and that is probably where you really need to get uh, in there and clean, rub on the insides of those walls. Uh, I wouldn't worry about pushing down into the key slot particularly hard, like you're trying to unstick the, the plunger button, because that's, I, it, that's not where the problem is. The problem is, is the key sticks along the plastic edges of the thing here when you do this uh, sort of coke dump on there. Um, okay, so I cleaned all around that. I clean all around this. Now, if I were to, at this point, want to go down and start popping off the rest of the keys, doing them all in a line, you just it's much easier to just get in there and boom, I just popped that F2 key right off. Uh, well, I'm not going to pull it all the way off, but I popped it out of there. And you just pop, 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 pop. And keep them in order. Remember their order. Take a picture of your keyboard before you start and uh, make sure that you get them all back in the right place. Um, boy, this is still tacky on that side, so I'm going to give it a one more. Uh, while I'm doing that, I will say that some people I've seen in the past say, put your keyboard in the dishwasher and wash it that way. I've never tried it. I probably wouldn't ever try it. But I guess if you had a keyboard that was hopelessly stuck in place uh, and its next stop was the garbage can, uh, as long as you uh, put it in the dishwasher and, and run it through a cycle uh, that doesn't damage your dishwasher, uh, then you probably can't do more damage to your keyboard. But I've never tried it. Don't recommend it. Another thing you may want to do once you get this clean is take another dry Q-tip, another dry cotton swab, and sort of run it around in there and dry it. Oh, the other thing that you should do also uh, with your wet swab, rub around the outside of the key as well. This portion of the key usually sits below your eye line, and I can tell that, yeah, actually it does have some stickiness on there. And that can definitely push up against the keys next to it and the other plastics of the keyboard. So you do that, you wipe off the top a little bit, take a, uh, a dry Q-tip and sort of run it around the edges to dry it off. Uh, when you do the spill, I highly recommend letting it just sit unused for a day or so before you even start this process. Um, and then once it's complete, and, and flip it over so it's sitting face down, keys down. Uh, and I'll put mine, I live in Texas, I'll put it out on the back porch and then the, the warm air, uh, generally it, it finishes up pretty quick. You may want to consider where you put it, uh, whether you want to put it outside if you live in Minnesota or Alaska or something. Um, okay, so then you just set the key back on top and give it a little push. And now my one key pops up and down just as well as the F2 and F3. As I said earlier, my tilde, my tab and my caps lock key all were sticking before. Seems like everything else now is pretty good. So I figured I'd take that opportunity to just show you how to do that. Don't replace the whole keyboard without trying this sort of thing. Uh, it, it might save you a substantial amount. I love this keyboard myself. So uh, it's, it's well worth it to dive in there and try cleaning it. I hope this helped. If you all like it, then like my videos. Thanks. Bye.